There's no damage today either. The slightest exception is this lefty impact.
under the rules, you can't move it, even if it costs less. The modifications cost less. So we fixed that problem. I, I would just close and say, again, how proud I am of this, this work that we have done. Uh, look, it's, uh, it's always a long road from here to the White House uh, signature. We know that. We know there are ups and downs. But I do feel with the goodwill that you saw here uh, today, we are so happy with it on both sides of the aisle, that we can move forward. We do represent um, very different members here and uh, with different philosophies, but we have come together on this. It was interesting, I was talking to Senator Bitter that the American Conservative Union has just put out a very interesting uh, thesis on why investing in infrastructure is so important. And so I think that kind of underscores where the weak conservatives and liberals have been on this issue of infrastructure, where we have been ahead of the curve in getting together on the highway bill and now on this bill. And I do believe we have some wind at our back because we have such a broad coalition of people behind us on this. And there will be bumps in the road because there always are, but we're going to figure it all out. So I would say, Senator Bitter and Senator Fisher is here, um, the next step is CDO needs to be the actual score, which we believe is going to be very beneficial to, to our staff because it's becoming as sure, sure. the last word of the But we do need to make sure CDO does its work. So Senator Bitter, I hope you and I and our team can work together to push that to send the needs that he wants and some of Broad back next step. Man, is Senator Boxer informed also? <laughs> Senator Collins, all right. Man, we do so much work. Come here, Mecca. Oh, hi. Mecca. Hi. I saw you had your door open, so I wanted to ask if you'd like to employ veterans to extend the Smiths. Come here, Mecca. I saw you had your door open, so I wanted to ask if you'd like to employ veterans to extend the Smithsonian Mall to California. Careful. Yep. I saw you had your door open, so I wanted to ask if you'd like to employ veterans to extend the Smithsonian Mall to California. And if that works out well, then we can have a humanitarian corridor around the world along the Tropic of Cancer. Oh. That sounds like a neat idea. Um, but I, I actually don't make any hiring decisions at all. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. Well, uh, if you could let your committee know, I'd appreciate it. Certainly. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a good day. That's unto you. education, labor, and pensions. Looks like they're not in meeting here. They're ready. Mecca. Hello. Hello. Come on, Mecca. Hi. 
who looking through their wallet at money, not totally sure why, maybe trying to know what their budget was for lunch. Perfect find the door, Mecca, good Mecca. Signatures and long came up. Hi. Good. Cleanliness is half of faith. Because you can do almost anything if you don't get sloppy. And that's scary. So what's the other half of faith? Our good intentions that we learn from our prayers, right? Good. Allah Akbar. <sighs> Ringing out the mop and going around the world. Hi. Hi. Everyone deserves a lawyer and a fair trial, he's saying. Hi. Looks like you have a waiting list here, huh? Yeah, we do. It's an uh, in-demand hearing. Um, how's it going? Are people getting in? Or is anyone coming out? Or Right now, no one's come out. It's, it's completely full, though. Yeah, I was just up at the Public Works subcommittee meeting, oh, yeah. and uh, they mentioned Signature and Long, and so I made sure I came back to this direction. Okay. I guess we'll get in line, thanks. Okay, you're welcome. There's also an overflow on the 216, heart 216. Oh, uh, 216 heart, you can yeah. see it. Okay, well, uh, thanks. Hello, oh, how are you doing? Hi. Kansas, yeah. Hi. Hi. Hi there. Oh, long time no see. How have you been? Fine, how are you doing? All right, you renamed Bigwig Liberty. I remember you. Nice, you what? Which hearing is this your way? Uh, privacy and judiciary. What time does it start? Uh, 10. Yeah, then they have one in the afternoon about another topic that's interesting. Yeah, that's the one I've got for. Oh no, what's this baby's name? This is Mecca. Mecca, with sweetheart. Are you scared of money? No, but that's part of Mecca's uh, idea of playing, is to be a little shy. She's an Afghan, right? Yeah, yeah. Hi, beauty. And smart, too. And how have you been? Good. What are you up to these days? Um, hiring veterans to extend the Smithsonian Mall from D.C. to California. I don't, I don't understand that. Okay, well, there are a lot of veterans looking for work. Yeah, oh, i got to call my boss and tell him I'm here. Talk to you. Yeah, you're a pretty girl. Yeah. Kind of neat there, dog. Yeah. I've got a letter from my doctor for this one, so uh, we can go anywhere. Um, okay. Hi. That's good, Mecca. There's an overflow room in Heart 216. I might go over there to hear what they're saying. Yeah, well, yeah, give a little room for her. 
Hi. Hey, Mecca, you're getting your picture taken. Hi. Yeah, long legs. So it runs like the wind. That's good, Mecca. Thanks. Do you know if mental health uh, professionals have to take drug tests? Do you think the uh, NRA and the AMA would like to work together to uh, make sure that happens? Here come some people out. There's long legs there. Wow. Mecca. Here's a person who has legs as long as yours. Look at her. Long legged. Yeah. What else? Uh, you have the right to hide and the right to find. We do not strengthen one right by weakening the other right. about internet privacy in here? Uh, drones privacy. Oh, yeah, but that's sort of like the internet too, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's drones. It's, I, mean, I mean, I'm more worried about those than I am about the ones that fly to other countries. But those kill people, so that's bad too. But. Yeah, well you look at everything they did to people in Afghanistan and you can expect that's on the way here. Oh, no kidding. Yes, I agree. So we need like town halls, town hall screen names. Remember, we're gonna have to start putting uh, black paper in our windows to keep them from staring at them. I mean, it sounds kind of. Well, you can crazy. see through the walls now. Oh, can you? What we have to do is make it legal inside your house. Whatever you do is legal as long as it doesn't harm a non-consenting adult or minor. Right. Yeah. I, well, you know, isn't there a way to keep that? Isn't that a way to insulate them from looking through the walls? No, but you don't make your right weaker to make the other right stronger. You make both rights stronger. You say, yeah, it's great. Hallelujah. You can see through walls. You can see through people as long as you don't harm them with radiation. But then it's legal. Anything you do on your side of the wall is you don't have to be embarrassed. Yeah, well, that's what I'm looking at. That's what Judge Scalia said, the lady of the house taking her bath can now be seen through the wall, and is that permitted for the law enforcement people to do that? Well, does he think so? They didn't come down on it. They had a case about bringing a dog to your door on Halloween. That was their idea of coolness. Yeah, I had a dog. I'm up in Maine, and so I read in the internet that the Supreme Court has a case scheduled for Halloween about bringing a dog to your door to sniff for drugs. <laughs> I said, because it's trick or treat, you know, the people inside are scared that the law enforcement are going to bring the dog and sniff for marijuana and then break in their door and, and arrest them. And so they thought it was cool to schedule it for Halloween, trick or treat. I said you should have scheduled it for Pearl Harbor Day. You want to get both rights to be stronger. What you're doing? About a year. According to the United States Secret Service, you have the right to external memory of any conversation or occurrence to which you are a party or which there is a reasonable expectation it might be overheard, like outside of the Russian embassy. This is my letter to the committee I delivered yesterday. A two-party consent law, such as in Massachusetts, applied to walking along the public right-of-way violates the First Amendment right to remember your own life, to give proof through uh, your free speech. Are these people all? Yeah, they're all waiting to get in. There's an overflow room in Hart, the guy said, at 216. Exactly. I mean, my job is to hold a spot for a person who's going to be at this degree. Okay. Hi, Mick. Oh, yeah. Here's some progress here. Hi. 
Well, you don't tell them who we are. Of course, he's not on the Hey, let's employ some vets and extend the Smithsonian Mall to California. Plenty of that, and it kind of dovetails here because a lot of these people work in Congress that I live around because I live right here on the hill. And when they go on vacation, they need somebody to take care of their dog, but you don't need to wait in line. Right. So it kind of adds up. Like I've already got, I'm already booked. I already have somebody for the Easter break. I have a couple of dogs. I'm going to walk. So, and they walk. They're lobbyists, and you know the, the man is a lobbyist anyway. So Congress is going to be out. So they're going to go out, and I'm going to walk their dogs for money. Nice. <laughs> Pretty good deal. It works out. Great. Yeah. In fact, I have a uh, customer that pays me 75 a day. <laughs> Because their dog is like this big and very unruly. Wow. And he's a big, big furry dog. He's a big, heavy furry dog, not like this one. And uh, he's, he's only unruly when he sees another dog. I have to be, I have to be on my guard when I walk. So they go on a two, three week cruise. Mass, seven, a day. We're talking 500 a week. That's great. Yeah, that's awesome. It doesn't happen all the time, but it's nice when it does. Yeah. <laughs> Those people have been going for one or two times a year, so it's nice and money. And you can do it during August and there's no work here. Yeah. Or April, you know, they're off for all of Of course, this week, this time, they're not taking all of April off. They're taking one week of March off and one week of April. For Easter, so. They're doing it too, yeah. Or should you have a U.S. Treasury Citizen Trust account so you don't have to be a gopher for someone who got a bunch of stuff that you don't know whether they deserve it or not? Yeah, well, I mean, as long as I'm not touching anything illegal, I'll... I'll do an errand for anybody. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have to. You should be independent. You should be endowed. No, but I mean, as long as they pay me, I'll yeah, I get that money. I love them in there. Yeah. I do. I hate sitting in an office. I hate staying in an office. Well, for extra credit, that's your right to do whatever you want to do, but you should have a basic endowment for the U.S. Citizen Treasury Trust Account. About $1 million in trust with covenants and time release and uh, basic income. We should be born with a parking space. Yeah. <laughs> I don't drive. But the more kids you have, the more you have to divide your money up among them. Well, I don't have any of those. I just got to worry about this kid right here. Hi. Judy. What's, uh, what's his name? This is Mecca. Mecca, nice. Yeah, they under-assess the value of the assets and keep a control of them instead of assessing them at their true two billion year value and uh, then uh, distributing the uh, net present value of the future free cash flows among the we the people adequately. It's like saying this door is worth $10. Yeah. yeah. No, if you look into the future, not only that door, but the next door that's going to be there and the door after that and the door after that, man, that door is worth about $10 million, you know, more than that. So you reassess everything, bring up the values, and then you can uh, discount it to a net present value. And then instead of having to borrow money from Ben Shalom Bernanke, you can say, okay, we can mint money against the uh, assets that we have. We have these doors that are worth this. Let's print the money against it, put it in a bank, and lock it up like J.P. Morgan is the trust store for these payday loan things, which is basically what we're talking about. Uh, my dog has been with me for uh, about three months, four, five, six months constantly. Uh, it's a service animal, so wherever I go, yeah, I got leash burns on my hands. Yeah. Yeah. She seems very calm, like she wouldn't, she wouldn't be a... What kind of dog was Liberty? He had another dog. Yeah, 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 a husky terrier mix. Oh, yeah, and she was very... Was it a female or a male? Well, we don't worry about male or female well, till we get to puppies. Uh, well, Bigwig, but you renamed Bigwig Liberty because you thought oh, that that was I a named big. Liberty. Yeah, you did. You said Liberty is a good name. Yeah, you did. Yeah, it just seemed fitting. Because Bigwig is like the opposite side of what we're just talking about, right? You want Liberty rather than Bigwigs. Yeah. yeah. Becca, that's an interesting name for a dog. Yeah. It's a very pretty name. Now she's brown, you can call her mocha. <laughs> 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 hey, 
Hey, let's employ some veterans and extend the Smithsonian Mall to California. No, you didn't. You barely touched me. Hey, Mecca, that's being good. This is privacy. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't realize. I just stumbled into this one. I was on the other. I was on the other side. But there are a lot of teenagers here today. Like, is well, that more than usual? Sometimes, well, sometimes school groups come here. And, you know, part of their school assignment might be to come here. There were lines a halfway around the block this morning. Well, that's because no, the doors are not. This is sequestered. Sequester? Yeah, they're, they're budget cuts. Yes, the budget. Just here again. No, it's the door's outside. This is, they don't have a this situation huh. here is, um, I don't know, I mean, this is here because this is a big crowd and there's a hot, this is a hot issue and I'm afraid somebody will just go off. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, we have people, in, we have something called code paint that goes in here and signs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, especially if it's on a drone hearing like this, I wouldn't be surprised if some of them aren't in there now. Sure. And they'll, they might, they might even disrupt. They don't do anything violent. But they might chant or. This one lady waited the whole time General Petraeus was testifying before the D Armed Services Committee, and finally he starts talking about. Well, there's a trillion dollars of resources in Afghanistan that could be. Ex um, recovered or something and uh, to justify remaining there right to give a economic issue after he berated a lady senator about your district gets a lot of work from us uh, and she's poor little old lady like a code pink person she gets a war criminal war criminal and uh, they had to take her out physically from the meeting uh, but it was so true uh, yeah do you know of any town halls that have uh, screen names for the uh, voters or citizens? Wouldn't that make sense that you get an official like AOL, but for, for your town hall screen name, and you could sign petitions and do business? And the, the, if the court, the court call up the town hall, hey, we got screen name Joe Blow two seven five three. Is this a, really a, a person? Uh, and they say, yeah, it is. Uh, and they say, well, um, okay. Uh, then if the guy has done something wrong, you get a court order, you find out their legal name. If he's not done anything wrong, they simply say, yeah, we checked Joe Blow, it's in our records. They know that it was him and we sent it to them and now it's in his record there too. But you protect your family name. You say you want to sign a petition. Hey, let's, you know, get more privacy in our homes. Okay, I'll sign that. But then you got to put your name and your address and everything. So instead, you use your town hall screen name, and you can change it just like AOL. Why don't we have that yet? Uh, yeah. yeah. The NRA might like that. So when you get your gun clearance, it's under a screen name. Yeah. Same way when you qualify. Yeah. Good. There's a lot of privacy issues. Uh, I wrote him a letter yesterday about all this stuff. Uh, like the right to eyeglasses for your brain. I've got like cr criminal trespass warnings up in Maine. I relocated up to Maine. The two hardest places to remember anything, the drugstore and the bank. They closed my bank account and uh, sent my money back to me. They wouldn't let me uh, have a bank account. I haven't read their letter yet, but it's probably because I have too good a memory. They're supposed to have better security. They don't make my right weaker. They make both rights stronger, you know? Same way you should be able to wear a web camera mask. You know, people walking around live streaming Google Street View Live, it's a, you know, a generation away. You want to have the right to wear your webcam mask. I mentioned that to the undercover police officers out here by the um, uh, U.S. Senate lawn by that wall where they hang out and uh, within the afternoon uh, or the next day uh, some guy walks by they'll six eight people they all look like they had these SPX masks on that I recommended to them 
Yeah, so, well, they must have thought it was a good idea then, huh? Yeah, because I talked with this police officer about child pornography on the internet, and he said, please don't put my picture on the uh, internet because I'm undercover police, and it's a uh, sensitive work. And I said, well, I understand that, and I'll do it this time, but you should have a mask so that I can keep it on and you can have a different mask the next time I see you. And that way you won't have to worry about, does he have a, a hidden button camera here? Does she have a camera in her scarf? You know, wear a different mask, you know? I'd like to be re today and Condoleezza Rice tomorrow. Well, if you're a public figure, I don't know if you can control your image in terms of a mask. No, but I can put a mask on her on. If you're a private figure, you might have the right to say, hey, you can't go around looking like me. Do you want to hang out with each other, or do you want to go to the house? Do you just ask him something, like, as the timing? Oh, no, I just asked to make sure if there was a 2 o'clock hearing, so I don't have to wait here. You guys go ahead of me. Should we ask him? Should we ask him? Why don't you guys go to the old phone? I don't want to. We don't really want to watch on the TV. It's a nice room in there. It's big, and there's a lot of space, and you can drink coffee. I'm not kidding. Those folks. They don't have it there. Oh, get someone If you try to do it in here, they're going to tell you no. Oh, yeah. They're not allowed to do it. All kinds of people sleep in there. But if they see you with it, then you're going to do it. Let me go ask you. Okay, questions. Yeah, it doesn't look like you have many answers. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard. What else came up? So once you get to the front of the line, what do you do? You just wait and let other people go ahead? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not really, I'm, I'm not really in a line. I just have to be in a line because there is a line. If there wasn't a line, I wouldn't be in it. Does that make any sense? Gotcha. Yes. 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 If you guys aren't waiting here to get in there. And I would. So when you come in and, and wait, like, is it always like you think about the prior waiting for such a good point you're like this? But it's no, no, it's not always a crowd. Yeah. I mean, usually there's a 10 o'clock here and I'm waiting for a 2 o'clock. That 10 o'clock's already in there by now. You just have to have a crowd in line here today. This is not always. It does happen, but it's not. Especially this day. This is a pretty big line. I mean, since I've gotten here, I mean, I can't even be in the line. Yeah. I'm trying to think about why someone really want to be in a session. There's people coming out. It's been an hour and 18 minutes. It's called Facebook. Right. Yeah. The people are the members and senators of the DS see the lobbyists. See, they know these people who have been in their offices talking to their staff members. And they know these people. Did you have a good hearing? And it does. So Did you have a good hearing? As opposed to anybody good. can watch. Did you have a good hearing? Did the issues get addressed that you were interested in? Outside of the line. They don't see you and they don't. Looks like we're going to get in, Mecca. Come on. They can't. They don't want to stand here for hours and wait until they can hear them. Well. Well, he's called a skinny orange baby. The guy's uncle, from Sicily, he's just sitting in the court, and then, what's his name, James, his testimony? But not big. <laughs> we may or may not have orders for uh, next week's Supreme Court hearing on same-sex marriage. What if a child's born with no gender? Do they have the right to get married because of the birth no such defect? No thing is no gender. It's either both genders or one. Well, if you have no genitals or uterus or anything, you get born by accident and you have to have a tube for your urine to come out of you and stuff. Uh, that would be a very sad existence. It would be tougher if you could get married, yeah. You should still have the right to marry with no gender, so what's this business of gender discrimination about the right to marry? Yeah, I agree. Everybody should have the right to be miserable. <laughs> I've been through that. I've been to that movie. It's I, I'm panning it. I'm in the movie and I'm, I'm, I'm a critic. Everyone has the right to their own womb? Yeah. Well, well, some of us have wombs and some of us don't. Yeah. We started off with mito uh, mitosis, and it's uh, mitosis is one gender operation that uh, sustains most of our body. 
then this modern experiment of meiosis, you know, gender, wow, you know, it's a half as old as mitosis is. Now we have laboratory assisted, and God willing, will travel as like coherent light beams that can reconstitute itself back into matter. But anyway, yeah, so A lot of people came out. How come we're not going in? <laughs> Should I ask? Oh, say, I saw a lot of people come out. How come we're not going in? Okay, thanks, sir. Yento is Yiddish or matchmaker, busybody. Or sometimes they call him busybody. But Yento was actually a functioning person in the, in the community who matchmaked, who married off girls because, you know, they were and a lot of times they were young they usually put they wouldn't always put they wouldn't necessarily put young girls with old men usually at babies they just match make them with babies and say this is you know, one family would have a boy and the other family would have a girl and they'd say these two are going to marry so all their lives they Rebecca, know you're doing a good job make things easier in a lot of ways huh? well in some ways you know. <laughs> I guess it depends. That's when you get this to. You get to be anywhere from 16 to 18 and then Mary. How old was Mary when she had Jesus? 15, 14. Yeah, 14 year old virgin hairdresser from Nazareth. Yeah. Yeah, I think you were hairdresser. I think my middle school last year. But anyway, that's what he there's more people coming up. Heavy duty camera. Well, if it's close enough that you lose by a referee's decision, you didn't deserve to win. This is a referee's decision here. Drones are nothing compared to interspecies partnerships. We want to come in. We'd like to come in. Not necessarily. You'd be surprised. It looks like it might be over. Wild cell translate. We shouldn't use that word, terror. Come on, Mecca. Good. That's good. Everyone except us, huh? Here's another one coming out. We'd like to come in. A medium. Oh, well, you're a media. Okay. Thanks for explaining that. So, sir, we don't allow dogs in the hearing room. Well, this letter says you have to. Under the American with Disabilities Act, service animals have the right to accompany and do, their do owner. you have credentials? That I do. That yeah, animal? I do. Okay. Yeah. Constitution and a letter from my doctor. And the script should be, why do you think you have the right to come in here with this animal? Instead of saying no and alienating people and making them I angry. I no yet, sir. I yeah, you started off saying no. 
Okay. I just wanted to make sure that everything's in play. I'm not. Well, that's I'm not very different from saying you can't bring that dog in here, which is what the first words no, out of your mouth were. I am. I'm trying okay. to educate this down. person. Keep your voice down. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. This man there, please. Come here, Mecca. I'm trying to educate this person that's so fine. she doesn't I'm alienate people like in Connecticut so he comes back Let's to school with a gun. It's relatively down. You want to hear a loud voice? I can really let you hear a loud voice. I'm slightly hearing impaired, so I have the right to talk loud enough to hear myself. So what we're doing right now, we're just checking to make sure that everything's in order. Well, that's a different one than saying you can't come in here with that dog, which were the first words out of her mouth. If it's a normal dog, we wouldn't be allowed in. We didn't know there was a service animal. Well, That's then you can ask. Okay, great. You're welcome. Scripts are important. That's why justice is important. What we say is very important. How we think. And peace upon you, who? How are you? May interspecies cooperation help you in your life. May wild cell translate, bring conversations between we the people and all the animals, inshallah. And may our privacy be protected when the bird at your feeder has a camera and a microphone on it. Wild cell translate. You're welcome. There's a lot of empty seats here. It doesn't look good. How's it going? Slightly frustrating. Thank God we're able to be here. It could be a lot worse. That Sir, can we check? We're gonna. We have seats, but we just can't let you bring your, a bag that large inside. Do you have a member's office you could drop it off at? Uh, maybe, but I would like to stay with my bag. I was able to get in the building with my bag. Do you permit wheelchairs in here? We don't allow. We are on our website. We have a rule that we don't allow large bags. Do you so permit wheelchairs in here? Yes. Okay, I have the same right as a wheelchair. No, I have a letter from my doctor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They don't allow large bags. They're wrong. This but document here. Your dog is fine. Here's, here's the deal, Bill. Yeah, here's the Constitution of the United but States of America. Gonna, but here's the Bill, deal. Do you mind yeah. just stepping away? Come we'll, over here. We'll we're not going to give away your seat. We'll save a seat for you. I promise. You're, I still the let these meeting's going to be over. He, can we just, he just can't bring his bag that big. Yeah. No, they let wheelchairs in there. I should have the right in with my bag. I need. The no, water. Just a second. Yeah. You I'm, we're happy to get you in. Just, just one second. I just wanted to get them in while we chat and make sure we have your stuff in the right spot. Which is on my back by my chair where the wheelchairs yeah. are permitted so I just to want sit. People to fill in the row on the other side so that there's a spot for their dog on this side. Is that okay? Uh, yeah, as long as I can go in. Yeah. I just had With my bag. With an aisle seat. Yeah. So that, that's what I just wanted okay, to it looks like we made some headway. I don't know. It's kind of like apartheid. See what happens is yeah. they have on their website they have rules yeah. there. And they so said you could here. drink at the same color drinking right. fountain, colors yeah. only, well, no bags. The they make all these but, arbitrary the, rules. They're wrong. Listen, that's not for me to argue. You know right. that. You right? have to obey the law that's whether it's right or wrong. Now, if they're going to enforce that policy, they have to enforce that policy across the board, correct? With everybody. That's I don't know. I got a letter from my doctor. They might tell somebody it's healthy, go to your member and right. leave it. But if I got a letter calm, from my calm, doctor. Calm down. Calm yeah. down. We'll talk. So if they say, hey, look, if there's an area of place, yeah. I got Thanks. If there's an area or place that you can store your belongings, yeah. and you can do that, then I would do that, and then there's no issue with you coming in. Right. We can't allow anybody in line that has a bag that large inside the committee. It's I, not just you. They let wheelchairs in. I should have the same right as a wheelchair to go in with my bag. It's my version of a wheelchair. Yeah. This yep. is not a drug. Yeah, this is my alternative to is, taking a drug. It's not, it's not the drug. Yeah, the and so is the bag. They, it's a, the, Louis Brandeis has a quote at the Supreme Court, right. the greatest danger to liberty lurks in insidious enroachments right. by men of zeal like right. you, well-meaning right. without right. understanding. Okay. You take a little bit here, you take a little bit there. The bag's too big. The neck, and that's not right. The door is big enough for me to come in. They let wheelchairs in. I have the right to a bag. It went through the metal detector. But here's the thing. Yeah. That's in the building. That's correct. Right. But when there's rules that are set inside the committee. Yeah. Right. They, they can be as racist as they want, but they they're wrong. Set, they can set whatever rules they, they want. They can't. They have to obey this. Okay. They can set what rules yeah. they want inside the committee. Correct? Right. And then I have to go to court right. and get a court order to prove to that do. they're wrong. Then that's what you But have general, to do. I mean general, 
Officer Weatherby said to me, mm -hmm. when they start giving orders for genocide, I will stop obeying. Absolutely. So you got to talk to your God and decide right. at what point you're going to stop obeying these unconstitutional, immoral orders. But for right now, yeah. the best thing to do is to store your bag where you can store your bag in your member's office. I don't know if that's fair back. to them. I don't no, know. No, it, that's what you Why don't we have the USPS postal system, outdoor mobile locker system, so anyone can store their that's guitar and come in? Yeah, it is. And I've suggested it a hundred times. Right, right. And no one's done anything about it, and we got a billion dollar debt at the post office instead. Right. But you know what you can do, too, is you can go to Union Station and they have lockers, correct? They took them all they out them because all out. they governed so right. badly they couldn't even trust people to put stuff gotcha. in lockers. Gotcha. So the best thing to do then probably is just go to your senator's office. No, I can't tell my senator to check my bag. No, you can ask them. I can ask them. They can say no. Yeah, they can. Yeah, and then I still can't go in. So then what? You go to your other senator's office. And they say no, and I still I well, can't go in. Not, we don't have control over that. The committee At some point you on. do. You have this committee cannot behave in an unconstitutional no, way. But they can set rules to, the, to what goes in their committee room and what doesn't. Like, well, you for, can, example, yeah. for example, food and drink can't yeah. go into the committee room. That might be reasonable because of public health and safety. Right, right. There's no reason for this not to go right. in. It's well, been through I, the metal detector. That's not my call, though. Right. It is at a certain point. You have the no, duty to go in there and say to them, look, there's a man with a so doctor's, a letter from his doctor out. There's a man with a letter from his doctor out here. He has a big bag, and we can't let him in. And also, do you record the sound with your... The only, only Senate credentialed press are allowed. See, here's another unconstitutional yeah, rule. Yeah, see, that's the rule. Yeah, it's unconstitutional. Okay. It says no law will be made Bill, abridging. Bill, yeah. Bill. Bring your voice yeah. down. I, just, I just don't want it to be too loud for the people yeah. inside so they yeah. Right, well, I get, have the right to get a little emotional. Yeah. I don't want to, in New York they've done this to me. Come here, come here, and the next thing you know they push you out the door. No, no one wants to push. I just yeah. don't want it to be too loud for I'll try to hold my voice down, but you got to realize you are being unconstitutional here. You're not a serf. You're not a plantation slave to obey the master. You obey this. Right, correct. Okay, now what it says here is no law shall be made abridging. Right. And you know what abridgment means? Yes. You got to turn it off. Right. And they're telling me what? What do you, what's the rule? That I have to turn it off. Okay, no. The rule is, is you can get that recording, but it's done through their process. Yeah, but that's not what I see. That's not General that's Petraeus not, looking at me during the committee okay. meeting. But, yeah. But that's the rule. And the it's rule. wrong. But no, it no, abridges look, me. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. they provide that ability. No, they give the state propaganda camera angle, okay, and they show opinion. what they want. That's yeah. your opinion. Right. Okay. Your opinion is perfectly... Okay, what if they took opinion. away my pen to go in there? I can't... We can't, we, it's yeah. their rules. They set the rules, that, the parameters that we, that we And this by. is why a kid goes into a school in Connecticut and shoots 21 people because yeah, they're so unfair and illogical. And you back getting, them up. We're getting loud again. Yeah, well, I'm emotional. I'm from Connecticut. Right. I don't like to see school children killed because people are so inconsistent and irrational and unfair. We're not talking about that. And you back them up. We're not talking about that. Yeah, we are. We're talking about enforcing the rules of the and, and privacy. Be enforced yeah. Throughout by everybody. Governments have fallen from unfair that's, rules. That's and if you guys want to stick with them because they're supposedly yes. the boss, then you yes. can. If you guys want to say, look, I looked in the Constitution here, it says no law can be made abridging the right of free speech and assembly. You're not letting this guy in because he has a pack and because he has a, a recording. Correct. And I think that you might be liable. Do you want to change your rule? No. You have the right to say that right, to them. Right, but I'm not going to do that. Yeah, because you're afraid of getting fired. Well, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, but it should but be part of your job you description. Do, but what you can do is yeah. you can go to your senator's office right. and you can share your concerns with them. Yeah, and they're part of the rulemaking thing in the Democratic Republican Party that's been running the country for 80 years into the ground with $16 trillion debt. That's the people you I, work for. I respect you and yeah. I respect your words. Right. Right. And we have a lot of respect for each other. I try to, but when you won't question authority I, respectfully, I, I worry. I understand. Yeah. That your opinion is I'm not. You're not questioning them authority. enough. Yeah. I understand. That. Yeah. And, and Blind and, obedience and, doesn't work. I understand. That. Yeah. In, in your words, that may be the case. Right. But for right now, right there now. There goes Senator the Leahy. The concern is, is yeah. that there's a rule that we have to follow. You don't. Okay. You have the right to right. question them and say, are you sure this is the right rule? I'm going to enforce it, but I just wanted to ask because this is right. different. But right now, while yeah. I'm on duty, I yeah. can't do that. I have to enforce those policies and those regulations that I have to abide by. Okay, so you can say after I'm off duty or Absolutely. tomorrow, I'll come by and ask about things. it? I can do Will that. you? I will be more than happy. Now you have my respect okay. again.
thing. You're welcome. So, so best thing to do is if you can store your bag in your senator's office, that'd be great because that won't be an issue. Well, it's friendly and campy, but I don't know if it works for... Uh, you get 20 people who come with guitars and backpacks and stuff like right, that. Right. There's no place to check them. They're all going to put them in the senator's office. I yeah, don't think that's going to work. Actually, a lot of them do because they have to go through tours of the Capitol and there's rules in the Capitol. They can't carry those that stuff over into the Capitol. Yeah, and then, yeah. So, they, so they store that stuff in their senator's offices. That's kind of weak to me, but uh, I'll, I'll go upstairs and ask about it. Absolutely. Uh, and you'll, I'll check with you. Um, as soon as I can to see how your follow-up goes, you're going to at least ask them. I will ask them. Are you sure that this rule is consistent with this document? The Absolutely. Okay. Hallelujah. Right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Right. Wow. We can't go in, Mecca. We'll go up to the senator's office and ask to be. To I don't know if we should. That's inconsistent logic. We're so supposed to be able to go where we get to with our stuff. Oh, this is why people go and shoot 21 people in a school because the logic is so inconsistent. They're told one thing in the Constitution and they get a whole different thing in the school. It's not right. Let's go upstairs here. Or you want to walk it off? We can go upstairs here. I should listen to you. And you're my service animal. Thanks. Okay, uh, how are you, who? Glad to hear it. You're looking well. Okay, Mecca, come on in. That's good. Oh, let's see, this is the third floor. I think it was the fourth. Where was it? Ah. Maybe it's up another floor, I think. Let's go up one more. Come on, Mecca. Oh. Two sixteen. Okay, Mecca. Okay, Mecca. Let's see if we can find our. Here it is. Okay. I'm offside UP9221. Bob Corker, 425. Maybe it's back the other way, Mecca. Hi. Perfect. Find the office door, Mecca. Foreign Relations Committee. where we were earlier. Yeah, it's Committee on Environmental and Public Works, Mecca. Oh. No. Cancel. Wow. It's amazing. That's a late night. 
Perfect sneeze, Mecca. That was me the night before the last time. I got the dead by ten. Out. Okay. <laughs> An Afghan hound, service animal. What are you looking for, Mecca? You gonna find it? Okay. First they said I couldn't come in because of the dog. Then they retreated and said I couldn't come in because of the bag. Then they said I couldn't come in because I have an external memory. Then I pointed out to them that's why 21 years get shot in a school because of logic like that that doesn't obey the Constitution and makes up a new excuse every time you want to win. Then the officer kind of said, well, I'll ask him about it when I'm off duty tomorrow and say, and see if they tell me why they think it's consistent with the Constitution.